And go ahead and uh, explain who you're describing. Uh, well, my name is Hector. Uh, I'm basically the person I'm describing is a, a real good friend of mine. Uh, his name's Art Arthur, and me and him, we used to hang out and do all kinds of stupid ass shit. I mean, he he did some crazy fucking shit, and and half the time I was with him. And the other half, he was with me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically, you know, Arthur was a, a big, intimidating-looking motherfucker. Man. There was just no way around it. He was ugly. <laughs> but he was a great guy. You know, But if you would have seen him just at first glance, you're like, God damn, where did this fucking caveman come out? Because you know? that's, that's, that's kind of what he looked like. If you've ever seen the Geico commercial... <laughs> That's what he looked like, but with a fade. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the truth. He's a great guy. Um, he's, he's about six foot two, so he's a tall motherfucker. He's a pretty uh, decent built. He'd wear a fucking Harley Davidson leather jacket, uh, torn <laughs> jeans, Harley boots. He was a rocker. He was a, a mean looking motherfucker, you know, just mean looking <laughs> motherfucker. Like, I didn't like looking at him because I was afraid of him. <laughs> I was afraid of him half the fucking time. And then he had this deep, scratchy, grangly voice like, yeah! and he was loud on top of that, man. And he was just a cool fucking guy to be around with. That's like a never where, Wherever, if you were with him or wherever the fuck you went, it just, um, you had a good time with him. Because he was very optimistic about anything. And he was down to do whatever. Right, he was getting to the fight. Or eat five pizzas. <laughs> if he was down to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. And um, so, you know, a, a quick little story about Art was uh, this one time, because he used to be a CNA. He used to, he used to be a CNA. And uh, I used to go to his pad sometimes. And um, sometimes I'd wait for him. You know, his mom would let me in, and she'd go, Hey, hi, Nico, how you doing? I'm like, Hey, is Art here? No, he's not here yet. But if you want, wait for him, and, you know, she'd let me wait for him in the living room. And he had a, and so I'd wait for him in the fucking living room for like sometimes half an hour, even an hour of watching TV, because they had cable. I didn't have cable, so I'd, I'd take advantage of them. <laughs> watching, watching their cable, and like, Honey, look at this porno channel, real quick. Or, or, or WrestleMania, or wrestling and shit. And I'm watching that stuff. And so then, uh, like, he would drive a fucking Camaro. And I would hear that motherfucker from, like, five blocks away. And I'm like, that's him. That's Art. <laughs> and, and most of the time, I would just wait for him in the living room. He'd show up and bullshit and play some video games. You know, act stupid. Sometimes we'd even take the fuck off. You know, to Mexico or something. But for some weird fucking reason, I decided to... I guess, I don't know, fuck around. And uh, he had a room, and the fucking room had no windows. And it was pitch fucking black. <laughs> I mean, it was completely, utterly black. You couldn't see shit. And so I go into the room, and I go, I'm going to scare this motherfucker. <laughs> I was scaring him good. And I'm going to scare the fuck out of him. And you know, I'm saying to myself, he scares me. No. And, uh, I scare him. And so I'm hiding in the fucking, like, I go into the closet and I go, nah, I don't want to be in here. So I go, like, right into the entrance of the, of the where the door is, where you open the door. You know, you open up the fucking door, you walk in, and you're in the room. So I'm standing, I'm, I'm right there, crutched down on all fours, like a fucking dog, like this. <laughs> you know, basically on the ground, going like this. And... And I was in the darkness for a while, so my eyesight started getting accustomed to the complete pitch darkness, you know? Like a fucking creature of the night, waiting to strike him. And so I hear him open the door, I hear him, you know, come in, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's like humming and shit. And I hear him walking around in the fucking living room, because he was wearing fucking boots. And I hear him go, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, alright, this motherfucker's in the house. I'm gonna scare the fuck out of him. And then he opens, I hear him open the fridge, he's drinking some milk or some, you know, he's drinking something, and I can hear him go, ah! <laughs> Whatever it was, it was refreshing, he puts it back in the motherfucking fridge, he closes it, 
and I, I hear him coming my way, and I'm getting ready. And he's like, doom, 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 doom. Then he opens up some other fucking door that I didn't know of, and he goes, and, and then I hear him taking a leak, like, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that fucker's got a big pee hole. <laughs> you know, this sounds like a waterfall, you know? And he was like, <laughs> It's not, like, it's not like you got a gallon of milk and you're like pouring it out on some fucking water. <laughs> you know, I'm like, fuck, man, that fucker. Okay, fuck him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna strike him. So, and I hear him like walking around. I don't know what the fuck he's. So I'm already in this. I've been in here for like ten fucking minutes, man. So I'm like, fuck, man. What the fuck, man? This shit. Judge, run out. And I'm like, no, I gotta be patient. So I'm still there. So then he comes in and he opens the door, and I can see. You know, I can kind of see him. He's like. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> and I grabbed him right in the inner thigh, and he goes, <laughs> he threw like, <laughs> whoosh, 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 whoosh. he threw like four fucking, excuse me, he threw like four fucking punches, man, and then he threw a big mighty kick, whoosh. <laughs> And I, I felt the fucking wind from his motherfucking steel toe boot like come like. <laughs> and I was like, God. And he turns the light and he's like, What are you doing? And I'm like, Did I scare you? Like, yes, you fucking dead. And he was like, grabbing, he's like, Fuck, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. You almost knocked my fucking head off, man. Like, I swear to God, if my head would have been anywhere else, and if he would have connected with that fucking kick, he, he either would have killed me or disfigured me forever. Because he was wearing steel toe fucking boots, steel toe Harley boots, and he threw a fucking he was he was making a he threw a, a field goal type kick, and I was like, fuck man, if he would have got me with that shit, he would have killed my ass. You know, but I scared the fuck out of him that day. He had to go to the bathroom. I think mean, he, he kind of shit on his own way. <laughs> I'll be back. Fuck. <laughs> he had to go, you know, maybe that didn't happen. But, you know, just that part of me, you know, had a little extra. But, God damn, man, he, I scared the fuck out. I never heard him scream like that. But that was a, a, a million dollar scream. I wish I could have recorded that shit. And the look on his face, even though it was dark. I could imagine it. And then when he turned the light on, I could still see, like, that fear is in the heart. I thought it was a demon or something. It was like, what you got? I'm playing with toys that night. You know? But that's one of the sto one of the many stories of the adventures of me and Arthur. That's just one. Next time, I'll tell you another. <laughs>